two of your films are at this festival. How many films do you make? Uh, I've, I have many films, uh, at least two a year. Yeah. Is it hard for you to get uh, production financing? Um, yeah, most of my production are co-production with Europe. So I got Israeli fund and then I'm, I'm looking for money and uh, private money, equity money and also a producer in Europe. Do the Europeans look to Israel? Can you hear me okay? I, I, I was blocking your light actually. So. Do the Europeans look to Israel to make controversial movies that make Israel look bad and that the anti-Semitism that they had for so many years seemed not so bad. I don't think they care, the, the European. You know, it depends on the script, and depends on the director. So the issue of the what subject matter, we don't even go there. If you were to make a very strongly Zionistic picture, would they finance it? It depends what you know. Who? What's the? What do you want to say in your movie? Is it politically? If it's not. But you know, it depends on the on the script and the subject matter. But I'm I don't usually I don't do a lot of Zionist movies. <laughs> because you don't feel it. Not because of this, you know. Uh, the people that I'm working with, with them, none of them until now wrote Zionist uh, script. <laughs> so this movie Sandstorm, it's just the opposite, really. It's a Bedouin movie, isn't it? It's about the Bedouin community. Yes. And what's the basic theme of the movie? The basic theme is about a tribe, a woman that has a, that has been married a second woman, and uh, now how it's going. And the girl and the mother is now the, she's she found out that her husband is marrying a second woman, and a daughter is going to university. It's open. The father is open, and she got in love with a different uh, guy from a different Bedouin tribe. So it's more like a daughter and mother story about relationship and about the family. How do foreign audiences react when, they, when, when you're trying to sell them, even if you, the buyers, when you try to sell a movie from Israel? There is no any problem because most of my uh, movies are crossover movies and they travel all over Europe and, uh, and everywhere. So it, there is no issue of this kind of a thing. You know, this movie is a, a, a movie that it's universal. It can be in Iran and Pakistan, it can be all over. So I don't think there is any different issue because only because of the story. What do you think it says that an Israeli filmmaker made a movie like this that's, that's so uh, international about uh, progress? That she's brave, she's smart, she's intelligent, <laughs> and uh, you know she knows the subject because she she's very uh, familiar with the Bedouin people. She knows them very well, so it was very. She came with a honest say to what to say about relationship in a Bedouin community without judging them, without just telling a, a beautiful story. <laughs>